In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time, is also St. Peter the Apostle Sunday. And that means we are one with the Pope, the successor of Peter. As head of the church on earth, we are one with Pope Francis in praying in a special way today for missionaries around the world and in support of the formation of the seminarians, priests, and religious novices in mission territories. Let us remember them and pray for them. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass as we ask forgiveness for our sins. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We glorify the merciful Lord. Oh 
Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be the children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. When the Lord chooses Elisha as prophet to succeed Elijah, Elisha says goodbye to his parents and to his occupation and follows Elijah as his attendant. The first reading. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord said to Elijah, You shall anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat, of Abel Mehola, as prophet to succeed you. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. He was following the twelve. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah, and said, Please, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him, and taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh and gave it to his people to eat. Then Elisha left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
explains the true meaning of Christian freedom. Governed by the laws of the Spirit, this freedom operates in love and service. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. So we stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. For you were called for freedom, brothers and sisters, but do not use this freedom as opportunity for the flesh. Rather, serve one another through love, for the whole law is fulfilled in one statement, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you go on beating and devouring one another, beware that you are not consumed by one another. I say then, live by the Spirit, and you will certainly not gratify the desire of the flesh. For the flesh has desires against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. These are opposed to each other so that you may not do what you want. But if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. Lord, your servant is listening. You have the words of everlasting life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days for Jesus being taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there. But they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? 
Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. As they were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Faxes of duns and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord. But first, let me say farewell to my family at home. But to him, Jesus said, No. No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Habang ako po ay naghanda sa misang ito, habang ako po ay nagnilay-nilay sa mga readings, the Word of God in our Mass today, I am reminded of a song that I am sure most of us, if not all of us, are familiar with. A song that we grew up with in the 70s and 80s. The song entitled, Born Free. Alam niyo po yon? Born free, as free as the wind blows, as free as the grass grows. Born free to follow your heart. Live free, and beauty surrounds you. The world still astounds you each time you look at a star. Stay free, where no walls divide you. As free as the roaring tide, so there's no need to hide. Born free, and life is worth living. Just worth living because you're born free. We all want to be free, yes or no? Of course. Kaya we celebrate every year our Philippine Independence Day, ang araw ng ating kasarinlan. Gusto natin maging malayang bansa, malayang tao. Marami sa ating mga streets in different provinces, ang tawag ay libertad. Marami tayong mga plazas or park na ang tawag ay freedom park. Mayroon tayong free speech. Pero siyempre ang pinakagusto natin, free lunch. <laughs> free breakfast. <laughs> free dinner. Yon, mas gusto natin yon. My sisters and brothers, our readings today speaks of the gift of freedom. Ang biyaya ng pagiging malaya. We thank the good Lord for the gift of free will, the gift of free choice, the gift of freedom. At the same time, we have to remember that every gift is a responsibility. Please say, every gift is a responsibility. Pag binigyan po kayo ng cake, may responsibility po kayo na huwag hintay na masira yung cake bago kainin. Huwag pong hintayin masira ang cake bago i-share sa kapwa. Pag binigyan po kayo ng damit, you have the responsibility na to take good care of that gift. Because every gift is at the same time a responsibility. Freedom is a gift. But at the same time, it is a responsibility if we want to remain free. Upang hindi masayang ang gift ng freedom, ito ay may kaakibat na pananagutan na dapat nating gampanan. But some people want only the gift or want only the gift. They don't want the responsibility. Nahihirapan sila. Kaya po, may mga tao na ayaw mag-decide. 
pag tinanong mo, anong gusto mong kainin? Ikaw. <laughs> ako ako kainin mo. Ayaw mag-decide, no? Ah, sige na, pili, pili ka na. Bahala ka. Tapos pa nag-order ka naman, ay, hindi masarap yan. <laughs> Pinag-decide mo, ayaw mag-decide. Pag nag-decide ka, kukontrahin naman. So, some people don't like to decide. They forget that not to decide is itself a decision. To fail to choose is itself a choice by default. Kaya po, sa bandang huli, mas maganda pa po that you and I choose. Because we are free to choose. Rather than you and I simply choose by default. Huwag natin antayin na iba ang mag-decision para sa atin. We have to make our own choices. Pero of course, naunawaan natin na kung minsan talaga ang hirap mag-decide kasi napakarami ng isa alang-alang. Lalo na po ngayong panahon, sabi nila, the millennials have real difficulties in deciding because of so many options available. Alam natin ang Kwento na yan, di ba? Tinanong, anong gusto mong inumin? Tubig o coke? Tubig. Ah, anong gusto mo? A tap water or bottled? Bottled. Ah, anong gusto mo? Mineral o? Distilled. Ah, mineral. Anong gusto mo? Ah, summit or? <laughs> Sabi niya, coke na lang. <laughs> anong gusto mo? Ah, 8 oz or 12 oz? <laughs> so, because of so many choices, so many options, nakaka-overwhelm, some people don't like to choose anymore. No, we have to make our choices. But of course, we have to be very careful in making our choices. We have to do research. We have to consult. We have to ask for guidance. We have even to pray para po malaman natin alin yung mahalaga, alin yung hindi mahalaga, alin yung priority, alin, alin yung secondary. But you have to make our choices. Some people naman po sabi nila, I, I don't like to commit myself. Mahirap yung may commitment ka. Mas magandang yung wala kang commitment. It's true, sometimes we need one whole day na walang commitment. Walang schedule. Free. Pagulong-gulong sa kama. Hindi ho ba, no? Hanggang mahulog ka sa kama. <laughs> no? We need that sometimes. A one day or maybe several days or even a week, or maybe several weeks, sometimes we simply need na wala tayong commitment, walang schedule, free. Eh, pero naman, kung ilang buwan na wala kang schedule, <laughs> wala kang commitment, ibang usapan na yan, ano po? Buong taon, wala kang commitment, walang schedule, walang ginagawa. You waste so much time, so much resources, so much opportunities, and we are not being good stewards of what God has entrusted to us. Time, talent, treasures, and opportunities. At certain point, we have to make a commitment. Pero ayaw ng iba mag-commit kasi daw po uh, natatali ka. Hindi ba? Iyan naman ang sinasabi pag may, na, na, ikaw, ay, may, ikaw ay kasal na, ay nakatali na po ako. So, ayaw nating nakatali. Ayaw natin ng commitment. Kasi mas exciting yung namamangka sa dalawang ilog. Natry nyo na ho bang namangka sa dalawang ilog? Exciting sa totoo lang yan. <laughs> Di ba? Exciting po sa bandang huli, nakakapagod. At sa bandang huli, nakakapagod na wala pang magandang patutunguhan. Kaya napakaganda nung sinabi ni Manoy. Kilala niyo si Manoy? Yes, Eddie Garcia, may he rest in peace. Sabi po ni Manoy that he is a one woman man. One woman man. Sana mga babae dito, one man woman din. <laughs> Kasi nga po, pag namangka sa dalawang ilog, pag walang commitment, exciting up to some extent, but at the end of the day, it's tiring at walang magandang patutunguhan. Whereas, when you choose to make a commitment, yes, nakatali ka, but 
all your time, energy, resources are well focused. And sooner or later, it becomes a second nature. It comes to you so spontaneously. You don't even notice it anymore. Basta na lang, kusang loob. Bukal sa loob. Hindi na sasayang oras mo at resources kasi nakafocus ka na eh. Committed ka na eh. Basta na lang. Dumadalo yan. And you move with the flow of your commitment. At may magagandang patutunguhan. May magandang bunga. Mayroon din nagsasabi, ay ayoko maging committed kasi baka maging slave ako dyan. Yes and no. It depends kung kanino ka committed. Narinig natin kanina sa ating second reading, sabi ni St. Paul, pag pinili natin, pag kinumit natin natin sarili, sa kung ano lamang ang gusto ng flesh o anong gusto lamang ng kind of life na walang Diyos, ay siguradong maging alipin tayo. Pag pinili natin kasalanan, bisyo, ay sigurado po, maging alipin tayo. Magiging addict tayo sa isang bagay, sa isang tao, sa isang gawain. Magiging alipin tayo. Para tayong zombie, the living dead, sunod-sunura na lang. Pero, if we choose to live in the Spirit, if we choose Christ, Aba, be assured, hindi ka magiging alipin. The more you will become free, free to love, free to serve, free to enjoy, free to hope, free to celebrate. Why? At the Last Supper, Jesus said to His apostles, and Jesus is telling you and me now, I no longer call you servants. I call you friends. Ayaw ni Jesus ng alipin. He wants us to be His friends. Kaya naman po, pag si Jesus ang ating pinili, and we choose to live in the Spirit of Christ, we are not going to be slaves. We'll become more free. Free to enjoy life despite everything. Free to hope in spite of everything. Free to celebrate sa kabila ng lahat. Of course, sa ating gospel reading today, maliwanag sinabi na Panginoong Jesus, to choose Him, to follow Him, is not that easy. Sabi niya sa unang, nagsabi na, susunod sa kanya, sabi, Ops, foxes have dens, birds have nests, but the Son of Man, referring to Himself, has nowhere to lay His head. Mr. said, you want to follow me? Jesus said, there's no assurance of material prosperity. There's no assurance of comfort. There's no assurance of luxury. There's only an assurance that you are with me, that I am with you. To the second one, He said, let the dead bury their dead. Hindi naman ibig sabihin na huwag ka nang umaten sa uh, libing ng kamag-anak mo o ng mahal mo sa buhay. Pero ang punto kasi nung taong yon, I will follow you, but let me first bury my father. Minsan say, eh, buhay pa kasi tatay ko, antayin ko na lang na, bag- na mamatay siya. After mamatay siya, tsaka ako mag-follow sa iyo. Jesus is saying us today, don't delay. Don't delay. Follow me today. Before it's too late. Tomorrow, might be too late. And finally, doon sa pangatlo, nagsabi siya, ano, ano muna, mag-follow ko sa iyo, pero uwi muna ako kasi ganito, kasi ganyan. Sabi ni Jesus, no one who puts his hand on the plow and keeps on looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Which means to say, don't look back. Past is past. Look forward. Sabi nga ng isang kantang, gusto din natin yung may the good Lord bless and keep you. Sabi nga po, May you dream of sweet tomorrow, never mind of what could have been. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. Anong punto ni Jesus sa gospel reading? It's not easy to follow Him, but it's possible. 
Lahat naman ng bagay. Madali bang magnakaw? Hindi rin. <laughs> Mahirap din magnakaw, hindi ho ba? Madali ba mang loko ng tao? Hindi rin. Magsumunod kay Jesus, hindi rin madali. Pero, it's possible. With His grace, it's more possible. It's not easy, but it's possible. And it's worth all the effort. It's worth all the time. It's worth of our everything. Let us close our reflection by recalling the lyrics of another song that is so familiar to most of us. That says, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The cr cross before me, the world behind me. The cross before me, the world behind me. No turning back, no turning back. Though no one joins me, still I will follow. Though no one joins me, still I will follow. No turning back. No turning back. We are free to make our choices. Let's choose rightly. Let's choose Jesus because Jesus has chosen you. Jesus has chosen us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. All of us have experienced the difficulty of being always faithful. Let us ask the Lord's help for ourselves and all our brothers and sisters saying, Lord, help us follow you. Lord, help us follow you. For the whole church, the community of the disciples of Christ, May she follow her master faithfully despite all temptations to compromise. Let us pray. Lord, help us follow you. For the Holy Father and the other leaders of the church, may they always edify us with their example of total detachment from comforts and material possessions. Let us pray. Lord, help us follow you. For all those who are called to follow Jesus more closely, May they respond to his call and persevere in the good work. Let us pray. Lord, Lord help us follow you. you. For those who are tempted to misuse their freedom, may they remember that Christ set us free from the slavery of sin so that we may all, all use our energies to do good. Let us pray. Lord, Lord help, help us follow, follow you. you. For our mall patrons, televiewers, and their families, May the Almighty Father continue to protect and bless them, and may the Almighty Father receive and bless all prayer intentions and requests entrusted to our chapel. Let us pray. Lord, Lord help us follow you. For our community, may we be kind to all, especially to those in need of help. Let us pray. Lord, Lord help, help us follow, follow you. you. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. 
Lord, Lord help, help us, us follow, follow you. you. Lord Jesus, grant us the grace to overcome our uncertainties and lukewarmness and to value your call to follow you with generous and undivided heart. You who live and care forever and ever. Amen. Please remain standing for the presentation of the gifts. pray that our sacrifice will become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deeds by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Please stand. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Chooses you and me. Let us choose Him. As we responded in the responsorial psalm, You are my inheritance, O Lord. We renew our yes as we pray.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us bless each other with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lord Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the, word, the word, and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. For those unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please all stand. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. This Sunday is called St. Peter the Apostle Sunday. We will have a second collection in support of the formation of seminarians and priests, religious brothers and sisters in mission territories all over the world. We will forward the love offering to the Pontifical Society of St. Peter the Apostle through the office of Cardinal Tagle. Thank you for your generosity. The Acts Catholic Prayer Community invites everyone to its prayer meetings every Wednesday at 7 p.m. here at the Chapel of the Eucharistic Lord. This Wednesday, July 3rd, we will have our first Wednesday Healing Mass to be presided by Father Ramil Tapang at 7 p.m. here at the Chapel of the Eucharistic Lord. Thank you. Please all stand. As we continue the second collection in support of St. Peter the Apostle Sunday, in support of Pope Francis' uh, solicitude, concern for the formation of seminarians, priests, and religious brothers and sisters in mission territories, sana po, we become more generous in our second collection, and we also lift them up in our prayer kasi alam natin that in some mission territories talagang napakahirap ng sitwasyon, may mga persecutions, may mga murders even. So let us pray for the missions all over the world and for other Christian communities, especially in most difficult situations. Sa ngayon po, atin alalahanin ang ating mga kapatid na hindi makapagsimba ngayong araw dahil sila ay may karamdaman, sila ay may sakit sa katawan o kaya anumang karamdaman sa kanilang buhay. We lift them up to the Lord. We pray for their healing, the healing of their body, the healing of their soul, the healing of their mind, the healing of their heart. We pray for healing for our brothers and sisters who are suffering under different kinds or because of different kinds of ailments. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we claim healing for them, for each one of us. Lord, you are our inheritance. You are our life. You are our healing. Have mercy. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on those, especially who are suffering because of cancer, because of depression, because of incurable sickness, or because they don't have access to proper medical services. Have mercy especially on those who are sick and are alone, abandoned, no one around them to support them. Lord, lahat ng mga homebound naming kapatid na kasama namin sa misang ito, kasama namin sila sa pagdarasal as we beg for them special blessings today and always Jesus in your name we pray Amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may Almighty God bless you the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen You have celebrated the love of God go forth and share His love to others. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.